Um, well, Apostle, God began to speak to me, first of all, concerning um, the seek as personally, it began a personal experience. Okay. And he said that in my seek is where he would speak, mm -hmm. you know. And as I began to seek God, God began to speak to me and he began to reveal the mysteries and that's where he began to unfold even my, the future, the plans and for my future and for my life. Mm -hmm. And so through our seek, we can hear the mind of God. You know, um, he will give us the beginning and the ending. Mm -hmm. You know, so we don't get the in-between. Right. But in the midst of the in-between, when you seek God, he orders your steps. Mm -hmm. And God told me that it's so necessary that as a prophet, that I stay close to him. Mm -hmm. And in my seek, that keeps me close to him. My ear is tuned in to him so that I'm able to hear him clearly. Mm -hmm. Because that will keep me sound. Mm -hmm. And that will keep me in a good place. Yeah. Because even a person can start off as a real prophet, a true prophet, yes. and then get in error. And so we have to be careful because, see, what happens is as a prophet, if I don't seek God, if I don't tell you to stay in a place of seek, mm -hmm. as a prophet, you know, I could tap into divination yeah, and I could find out information illegally. My gift would just work for me. Right. But it's so important mm -hmm. that you're saying what God said. Yes. And you only open your mouth when he tells you to say it. Mm -hmm. And he makes that time available. I go into grocery stores and I'll see things, but it doesn't mean that I'm to speak about it. Yes, yes. See, we're not just supposed to share everything. Right. Because we're seers, then we're going to see. Right. You understand? Right. Because that's what we're to foretell. We're going to see. We're going to see things. And, um, and so what I did is I began to position myself in a place of seek. And God prophetically began to tell me, he said, compel men to come. He said, and even the ministry gifts, he said, compel them to come into my presence. He began to tell me there's a difference between praying and seeking. He said, whenever he said, I uh, spoke concerning prayer and seeking, he would say, uh, uh, he said, if my people which are called by my name would humble themselves. He, he went on to say, seek my face and pray. There's an and. He said in Jeremiah 29, when he began to say, he said, if you seek me, he said, and pray. He said, then he would. Come. He would be there. He would be in the midst of us. He said, it's, there's, a, there's a difference between the seek and the prayer. And God, I began to ask God about that. I said, well, what's the difference? He said, well, prayer is petitioning. It's asking. He said, it's your opportunity, he said, to develop relationship with me. He said, but when you seek me, you're seeking me out. And I began to seek God for his glory. I began to go into the presence of the Lord, and I began to come desperately after him. And I began to seek him desperately. And I would tell God that all I want is, you see, God just wants to reside in the midst of us. He, he just wants to inhabit mm -hmm. our environment. He yes. wants to be our habitation. Yes. And so God began to just begin to show up as we would seek. And he would just begin to, you know, just inhabit our worship and inhabit our praises. And, and God would show up. And, and you know, and the amazing thing is, is that when you call on God, he comes. Mm. And we need God. We need God in this hour. We need to be in a place where we position ourselves. It keeps us in a place of brokenness and humility. Where we do not exalt ourselves above God. Uh -huh. Where we do not cause ourselves as prophets to get in error and think that it's about us. Because, see, when you're a prophet and you begin to tell people this is what God is saying they begin to respect you yes. and they begin to look to you and they make you a God and yes. you have to be careful you don't let yourself become that God if pride enters in then your ministry is over uh, when pride enters in your ministry is over and so when you stay in a place of seek it keeps you humble yes. because you stay in a place that see when you're seeking God when you come into the presence of God you realize who you are uh, and who you're not yes. you realize that yeah, God is God and God alone and he is the God of every word that you speak uh, he is the my God, he is your creator, he is your maker, he is the God of your gift, the God of your ministry, it's not your ministry, yes. seeing that's what's happening is people, prophets are being raised up and they're forgetting that, that ministry that they have is God's ministry. Yes, yes. You can't take God's glory can't do it. and you can't afford to because it will become a death sentence to your ministry. Mm. You, be, you commit spiritual suicide when you don't, when you take God's glory. So to keep, a, to keep yourself in a good place where you have a sound ministry, you stay in a place of seeking. God, I'm going to seek you out. And many of us, we're anointed because of our seek, yes. not because of our gift. That's right. You're anointed because of your seek. Right. Your, gift may, your gift will open up. Your gift makes room for you. But your seek right. is what causes God to show up. Yes. See, when I'm ministering prophetically, God... When I'm in the spirit and I'm close to God, 
God began to show me somebody's body. He said, there's sickness there. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he wants to heal them. Yes. The purpose of that gift is to heal. Yes. The purpose of that gift is to deliver. Yes. The purpose of that gift is to speak one word mm -hmm. and change somebody's life in one moment, yes. in one day. God spoke to me. He said, many people want, he said, a now word. And they're looking for a prophet to give them the now word. And I said, well, Lord, what is the now word? He said, what they want is they want their bills paid right now. Uh -huh. I need a house <laughs> now. I need, you know, what, 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 what's happening right now. Yes. But God said, when I send a real prophet. He said, when I send a real prophet to a nation or to a people, he said, yeah, he'll deal with what's going on now. He said, but he'll begin to speak concerning their life. Yes. And when God sends you, God speaks a word for you, your life when he sends a prophet. That's awesome. When God sends a prophet, he's not trying to the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. He said, all these other things shall be added unto you. Right. We're seeking out prophets for the uh, all the other things that he's trying to add. <laughs> it's the reason why, Pro Apostle, you felt like giving was because we were in a place to seek. Yes. And you wanted to give yes. because you understood God was in the midst of us. Yes. And you just wanted to bring something in with gratitude and thanksgiving. God, I thank you. See, God spoke to me. He said, and he began to show me his word. He said, if you look throughout my word, you'll see everything that I do is for thanksgiving giving. Uh, Everything I do, he said, is to receive praise. Yes, yes. He loves it. Yes. He loves it. God wants us to boast in him. And when we bring our gifts, we're saying, God, I give you everything. See, when we begin to give our treasures, we're saying, God, this is where my heart is. You're my treasure. My heart is with you. Uh, you understand? Oh, yes. And so God wants us to pray. So when that heavens opened, the heavens was open. My God. And so we wanted to give. Why? Because God began to speak a word for our life. Yes. And when God began to speak the word for the li our lives, what we wanted to do is we wanted to give. Mm. We wanted because why? God, we just love you. We, my goodness. I mean, the, the word came. I shared with your church on the other night, if I can just share this, Please. that when God says a prophet, he doesn't just a true prophet. What happens is when their words, when he, they begin to speak their words, and, and this is from a place. See, prophets speak from a place. When you've been in a seek, you see, you know, you're speaking from a place. And when God, when that prophet begins to speak, he doesn't just speak a word for you now. You don't just get healing, but you get restoration of finances. You get restoration in your family. I, I have begun to notice, I didn't even realize this until God began to tell me, take notice of this. People were coming to give me testimony after I spoke a word of healing mm. over them, and I would lay hands on them for healing, and they would get healed. We've had people with cancer and other uh, sicknesses be healed. Yeah. But they would always find me and say, prophetess, something happened. Mm. When I got healed, my relationship with my family was restored. And they would begin to talk about certain individuals. My relationship with my daughter, my relationship with my, you know, I, these relationships were restored. My relationship with my mother, my mm. family. Then I've been more blessed than I've ever been. Mm. See, that's why it's important for the people of God to wait on a true prophet. Yes. Because we got to be careful. We'll get itchy ears in this season. Oh. And we'll, we'll just, just want to hear, well, help me now. No, seek God to find out what to do for you now. <laughs> God, you know, seek the kingdom. God will take care of you now. You know, let the prophet speak, yeah, you know. Yeah. Amen. That's powerful. That is absolutely awesome. I kind of hate Fresh Wind TV that you didn't get the opportunity to be here in revival with us. It has been absolutely phenomenal. This woman of God is second to none in the prophetic realm, and we're excited about her because God is truly using her right now. We thank you so much for joining us here at Fresh Wind TV. Now, I want to share something with you. This is not the last segment with Prophet Samantha Bynum because she has another whole realm in her anointing that I want to touch and I want to deal with in another segment, and that is dealing with the prophetic as opposed to birthing. That is another whole avenue because we experienced something so beautiful in this ministry uh, with her revival. And we experienced this prophetic and this realm of birthing at the same time. I thought I'd tease you with that a little bit to be sure you turn back in. And we'll be back. I promise you we're going to come back in. Just stay tuned to Fresh Wind TV and you're going to see the next segment with Prophetess Samantha Bynum. We love you. We'll see you next time.